Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Thank you so much for all of this incredible mail. You absolutely spoiled our kids. Like the level of support is overwhelming to be honest. Thank you guys so much. It has been an incredible journey. Today we're gonna be unboxing all of this stuff here. We're also gonna be officially revealing the new Lego Marvel Advent Calendar and we're gonna be talking about the Lego City. We're gonna start with the Lego stuff and then we're gonna talk about the twins and we're gonna unbox all of this incredible fan mail. Like, wow, thank you so much. It is just like insane and just wow. That's, that's all I can really say. I'm at a loss for words. Uh, Jose would be here, uh, but she's just dealing with Benjamin right now. More about that later when we talk about the twins and unbox all of this stuff. So let's start with the official reveal of the Marvel Advent Calendar. And of course, me being me, decides to put that on the very bottom of the pile here. So now we have the leaning tower of boxes. It's literally like on the bottom. It's in this box right here. So this is the 2022 Marvel Studios, the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special Advent Calendar. Oh yeah, I got a little bit early, didn't I? Thank you so much, Lan, for sending this to me. We're gonna have fun with this, of course, in the month of December. I'm not gonna open this right now and spoil the month of December. No way, man, we're gonna, we're gonna build this thing, you know, when it's supposed to be built. I don't care, we don't need to review it. But yeah, look at that. You can see there's like the uh, radio there, a cassette player. We've got Mantis, Groot as the Christmas tree. Also, there's a cassette player right there. Obviously gonna be some really cool print pieces, so that's neat. But Groot is the Christmas tree. Even look at that, there's some cloud on the bottom there. And then we've got Rocket with his giant gun. It looks like he's roasting a huge turkey. Very cool. Also Star-Lord right up top here. He's got his jet packs, that's those gold roller skates. And also like a Thanos colored present. Is that what I'm seeing there? Very cool. So that's the Guardians of the Galaxy advent calendar. And this is 76231. Oh, on the top here, we got some more images. So the minifigs are pretty cool. Star-Lord, Mantis, Rocket, Groot on the backside. Oh, look, there's Thanos' armor. I know the advent calendar last year came with Thanos' gauntlet, which is pretty cool. Also looks like we got a ship up here for Peter Quill. And then we have the Guardians of the Galaxy ship right there with a Benatar. Benatar or the Milano? I, I, yeah, probably, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it's the Guardians of the Galaxy ship. Uh, then we got some droids and stuff over there, whatever they are. Very cool. And this will pop open right here so you can see the 24-day countdown to Christmas. Very cool that we got this advent calendar. And of course, like I said, we will be doing this in the month of December. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not that guy. I'm sorry. Okay, so now that we have that awesome advent calendar revealed, I gotta tell you that this parcel right here is also Lego related. This one here is not Lego related. Actually, we can open that one. But this one here is Lego related. It's a product that's gonna be revealed in the near future. I cannot tell you about that one because the embargo date has not passed yet. Super exciting, so much suspense. Also, this one here is another Lego order that unfortunately I cannot, oh my gosh, it is heavy, but I cannot reveal what's in this box either because it's gonna be coming out in a future video. Hey, but that still leaves us with a lot of boxes to unpackage here. All right, we'll get right to that, but let's go talk about the Lego City real quick. I'm just editing this video right now, and I just wanna say that during this Lego City clip, I get a little bit passionate. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, I love my Lego City, and I just get a little bit passionate, I'm just gonna warn you. Jose and I were in the hospital for five, maybe even six days. I don't know, what was it, Tuesday to Thursday? You do the math for me, please. I can't even remember, it's one big blur for us. But obviously I had lots of time to think about the Lego City when I was cooped up in the hospital room for that long. And I just wanted to take the time to address some of the comments from the last video. There was a lot of concern involving the new layout. So I just wanna take the time to discuss the layout and sort of have a conversation with you in regards to the thoughts that are going through my mind with the new layout. We're not gonna be changing anything today, but I just wanna present to you what I think we're gonna be doing here and just sort of address some of those concerns. 
And the first concern that I want to address is the under table scenes. A lot of people were saying, oh, I hate this new layout. You can't see the under table scenes. What a waste of space. The amount of space that you gain up top is wasted because you can no longer see the under table scenes. To tell you the truth, when these table inserts weren't here, you couldn't really see the under table scenes that well. The only way that you could get them is when you look down below or when I bring the camera down below like this. And when you bring the camera down below or your eyes down below like that, you're really able to see them quite well, especially with the new LED lights that we installed. And I actually sort of like it because it's now more so like an underground. It's like a hidden world. You can't really see it from up top. You can't see the beautifulness of it. Well, it's not beautiful right now, but when we work on it, it will be beautiful in my opinion, but you can't see it until you crouch down and then it's like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. There's an underground area with even more awesome Lego. The second thing I want to address is these bad boys right here. I'm not talking about my super cool big flip-flops. Oh man, I almost broke my ankle there. I'm talking about my knees. A lot of people were telling me to get like those floor mats that you would put in like a gym room and put them under here. I definitely could do that. I was talking about getting knee pads. In fact, I ordered some. There might even be some in those boxes up there now that I think about that. I could put the, uh, the little foam squares down here. The issue with that is, is it gonna be harder for me to vacuum through here? Also, they're not very attractive. So thinking about how hard it would be to run my vacuum cleaner through here, because you always need to vacuum when you have animals and stuff like that. If there's foam there, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Also, it's gonna be hard for me to slide out my part bins if I have the foam mats down, although I could just do one strip of them there, but I just think that would take away from the look of it, when I do reveal these awesome scenes, you bend down. I wanna have the nice flooring there, not really those carpets or those like foam squares, you know what I'm talking about. So I would rather just get a comfortable pair of knee pads. So when I am working on the Lego City for four, five, six, seven, eight hours, even one hour, I can just slap on the knee pads. If I just need to go over there and do one thing, it's not the end of the world. I don't need to slap on the knee pads, you know, for every single time I go through there. But when I know I'm working on extended or when I'm working on the LEGO City for an extended period of time, then I will wear them. The layout and the ongoing projects. I know the old layout was looking pretty good and we were getting ready to complete the layout with the completion of the residential area, the amusement park, the zoo, the modular buildings, the population of the city, the Ninjago area, and stuff like that. I know we were on the brink of having that stuff done. But I just wanna say that I personally don't think that this is gonna take a whole lot of time to reorganize and get it the way that we want it. Once I'm back working full time, I'm gonna tell you it's probably gonna take me about a week to get it to where it was so that we can continue working on those projects that we were working on prior to these changes. And now some comments were saying, oh my gosh, quit spinning around, dude, quit moving the camera so fast. I do apologize for that. When I made the changes, I was super excited. Now for the layout, not sure what we're gonna do, but I am thinking of moving all of these modular buildings, as all of them, over right here, where the residential area is. I just think that's gonna look better for us. Because then when you come downstairs here, you're gonna see all of the beautiful modular buildings right here, spanning all the way across behind the beach and all the way to Pop Culture Street. I have the parts to build the roads, and once Jose and I are settled in a little bit, I'm gonna take all of this material upstairs, I'm gonna hang out with the twins, and I'm gonna build all the roads while we watch a TV program or something like that. But right here is gonna be the new entrance to the amusement park. So we're gonna take that awesome Brixie Land entrance that's now sort of buried over there, and we're gonna put it over here, and our amusement park is gonna stretch all the way along here. Now I did say I was gonna move the modular buildings over here. Where am I gonna put the residential buildings? most likely over there. And then I'm gonna to have to build some sort of custom roadway going up top to the platform here because most likely those residential buildings are gonna be up here and also right here. So we're gonna to have to build some sort of custom roadway going up top where there's a one-way road that services the residential buildings that are sort of in this quadrant. The zoo, I'm not sure if it's gonna stay here. Might look pretty cool if the residential was there and the zoo was here. And then this downtown sort of flowed here. This is all downtown. Then our, resident, or our 
uh, Ninjago stuff up here. You even have like a river coming down, right? And then just more stuff over there. I'm not sure if those two buildings are gonna stay over there. Those two buildings being the McAllister's house and also the borough. I could fit the zoo over here. It would fit. I would just have to re-render this road, sort of like turn, and then we could put the zoo here. If we truly wanted to, we could do that. Spring Lantern and this other Ninjago stuff comes up by the other Ninjago stuff. The zoo comes over here. So then we have farm, campground, zoo, downtown. I'm also thinking maybe, possibly, potentially, maybe we'll put the beach here and the boatyard here. I might do that because that might flow better with the farm and the campground and stuff, but I really don't mind the boatyard here. I think it looks really good. That would take a lot of work to re-render and fit, whereas moving residential buildings, moving modular buildings, moving roads, not a whole lot of work to re-render. This would take a lot of work to re-render. So making big changes like that takes a lot of time. But moving mills plate buildings, no time at all. So that wraps up our LEGO City Talk for the day. I hope I addressed some of your concerns there. And I hope I can give you a warm, fuzzy feeling about this new layout. Because let me tell you, I really like it. And that is what is most important to me. The fact that I really like it and that I enjoy this and the fact that I think that it's gonna look phenomenal when it's done and even better than before. Yes, it's more work, but I do this for a full-time job and I have a lot of fun moving this stuff around and trying to do and improve LEGO City layouts, especially when you factor in the fact that this is the largest, most rectangular, sort of consolidated table layout that we have ever had in any LEGO room. So it just like really like excites me. I'm like really excited about it. So I know some people have some concerns and don't like the direction that we're heading. And I don't want to sound preachy, but I like the direction that we're heading and so does Mickey Mouse. So there's not much you can do about it because Mickey Mouse loves it. So you're probably wondering where uh, Jose and Benjamin are. You got Millie here and also grandma's here helping us out. That's why we're able to film this video. So thank you, grandma. But it turns out that uh, Benjamin has jaundice and they're treating it at the hospital right now. And Jose had to go back to the hospital. Uh, she's gonna be spending the night there, 12 hours there, probably longer as he gets treated. I don't think it's anything to be concerned about. It's very common. He's just had a, a few issues, but nothing major. He's gonna be fine. Uh, all the babies, or the, both babies are feeding well and sleeping well during the day, not at night. And uh, we're learning a lot as parents. I didn't think it'd be this, this tough to tell you the truth. Going to like, this is day two of being home. We went to a doctor's appointment today for two hours and now she's in the hospital again. I stay up, the shift work thing is sort of working. Like I stay up till three in the morning. Jose gets up at three in the morning. It's sort of working, but yeah, it's a lot of work. That's for sure. But luckily we're still able to film videos and have fun with Lego. And I hope to have more fun with Lego in the future, right? As we sort of learn how to uh, cope with the task of raising twins. So why don't we unbox all of these packages right now? Oh, it looks like after <laughs> unboxing all that stuff, I sort of made a mess in my uh, kitchen here, didn't I? Oof, that's insane. That's a lot of packaging. Luckily, it's all recyclable, so that's good. But check out all the gifts. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, everybody. The twins are gonna love this stuff. Peter, thank you so much, man. You've been a, a true friend and a supporter of the channel for a long time. This is awesome, dude. Check out these onesies. You got Chewbacca. Came as like one package, you got some droids. We got Vader, yes. And we got Little Trooper. And Rebels Rule, look at that, very cool. Then we got this uh, little pillow right here, the Feeding and Infant Support Pillow, awesome. This is uh, some pads for the bathtub. They go on the bathtub for your elbows and for your knees as well. That's very cool, what is this? These like bathtub? toys cool look it's Nemo oh my gosh <laughs> and then we got these 
uh, little floor sit me ups right here as well. All from Peter. Thank you so much, man. That is just awesome. And Jose and I are just truly amazed by this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And here's Peter's note as well. Thank you so much, Peter and family. We appreciate it, man. Like, this is just awesome. Donna hooking up the diapers. Look at that. Like a full case of diapers. <laughs> that is going to come in handy for sure. Now I know how many diapers you need when you have kids. A lot. Let me tell you that. Also, we need some formula. Uh, we're going to be doing the other type of feeding as well. But formula comes in handy when you're uh, in a, you know, you need a quick feed. Uh, so thank you so much, Donna. You also got us some swaddles. We need some more swaddles. I did notice that. <laughs> so thank you so much. We got some swaddles now. They're going to be nice and comfy. Also, they can start learning with this little storybook right here too, which is super cute. It's like a, you know, like soft storybook, which is really cool. And also they can start learning with this toy right here. Just basic, you know, stacking up the rings, which is really neat. And then we got some burp cloths as well. Yeah, they burp a lot. I never knew how many or how... Uh, many times babies burp, but it's like, you know, every time they eat, they burp once or twice and you got to force it out of them. Yeah, so thank you so much. That is awesome, Donna. Looks like we got some nice Dr. Seuss. These are the bright and early board books and these were sent to us by Mitzi. Thank you so much. And to help those babies sleep, it looks like Kim has sent us this here, which is like a little noise machine for the babies and it makes natural sounds. It's the Yoga Sleep Baby Hush. Kathy says, congratulations, enjoy the next chapter of life. And she sent us some rattlers for the twins. Nice, and also a twisty, a teething toy, a teething toy. And then also this soft night light as well, which would be good to have a nice little light on where the uh, kids are sleeping. And in addition to that, it's also a wipe warmer as well. So it's a light and a wipe warmer. That is so cool. And Snow Lena hooking up the awesome baby carrier. This thing is like one of the best baby carriers on the market. Thank you so much for all of your support with the channel, the help with the Discord server, and just all the friendship that we've had throughout the ages here of Lego and YouTube. And we appreciate that. I can't wait to see me rocking this bad boy, having Millie or Benjamin on the front of the chest. It's going to be super cool. There I am, see? Perfect. And she says that this was a lifesaver when she had her daughter, Charlotte. Uh, so glad there was uh, one of these in the registry list. All the best wishes for a healthy, safe delivery. Enjoy every minute with your beautiful babies from Snow Lena. Looks like Rob has hooked up a really cool pillow cover for the thing that Peter got, I think. Right? Look at that. It's an additional pillow cover, I think. So that's like awesome. Thank you so much, Rob. Also... Got the twins some Lego, some bathtub toys. Nice. So now when they're having the baths, they're going to be able to have some Duplo floating around in the bathtub. I think that's so cool. And I've been eyeing up these from the Lego store for so long. Look, look at them. They're so cute. So yeah, man, thank you so much, Rob. That is awesome. Oh, I forgot that these were in here. I should have unboxed them earlier for when we were going around the Lego city. This is the knee pads that I plan on wearing under there. In addition to that, Jose also ordered us some baby mirrors so we can see the kids in their car seats because they're facing the opposite direction. And then we have some more baby formula as well. Holy crow, everybody. This is just simply incredible. We are overwhelmed with the level of support. So much of this stuff is going to come in so handy with the twins. And we're excited to continue the journey. This is incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, everybody, that's really about it for today. Thank you so much for the support through the Amazon registry. That is like, like amazing. Thank you. The twins are going to love that stuff. I cannot wait to dress them up as Chewbacca, wrap them in those swaddles, have the bathtub floating toys, wear them on my chest, or whatever, all that different stuff. It's so cool. Also, put them in those diapers and use that formula, and, and all that stuff is just going to come in so handy, so we appreciate it. Also, really cool advent calendar, hey? Not bad, I put it right here. Beauty, Guardians of the Galaxy, sweet. I like it, I can't wait to see what's gonna go down in there. Obviously we're gonna build those live in the month of December when they're supposed to be built, right? And uh, yeah, that's my Lego City talk as well. I hope you like our plans. That's sort of what I was thinking about, you know, when I was at the hospital. I was reading all those comments. Ah, <laughs> I wanna get back into, I wanna get back to work on the city, but I also really want to raise these kids properly. So, and I really want to enjoy the time that I have with them. 
And that's the number one most important thing for me. Yeah, got pretty passionate about the Lego City, but I hope you enjoyed the plans that we have. I think it's really cool. I'm really excited about it. And I don't think it's gonna take us that long to execute once I'm back to work. Thank you so much for popping on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and thank you so much for all the registry stuff once again. Wow. Farewell, everybody.